Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. And Matt, whatever you choose to do, the weather is going to be stunning for it's it. It's going to be great. Maybe go to the mountains, take a swim in yeah. the lake. Eat and, a hot dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get an ice creamy. Yeah, yeah, all of it's going to be great. We have a lot of sunshine out there. Beautiful start to the day. We got a nice sunrise too. It's pretty hard to be in a bad mood going into work when you see this kind of view. I shot this coming into the station early this morning. You can see Mount Mansfield just peeking over the horizon there in the background and some clouds making for a very nice sunrise early this morning. You can see conditions at Jay Peak are looking nice, pr pretty nice too. We got a couple of clouds out there, but uh, overall a nice looking sky. Certainly a cool start. 53 degrees up there at the base of the mountain. Light winds out of the north and west and temperatures are a bit milder in the Champlain Valley near the lake. You can see the water temperature is 70, so temps are in the 60s near the lake, but outside of that, all 50s. We're looking at 50 in Lake Placid, uh, 53 in St. J, 56 in Montpelier, and 51 in Saranac Lake. Temperatures are certainly cooler than they were at this time yesterday morning, about 10 to 15 degrees cooler in many locations outside of the Champlain Valley. You can see we got a lot of clear sky out there, a lot of sun for northern areas, couple of clouds off to the south from about Rutland down to Brattleboro. Those are quickly pushing off to the east as we've got high pressure building in, but you can see some precipitation, some more clouds gathering over the upper Midwest. That's going to be our system for Tuesday, but luckily great weather for us over the next couple of days. Gorgeous rest of the holiday weekend. More clouds on Monday, but still a really nice day for your July 4th. And then we are watching more wet weather on Tuesday with a little bit of a frontal boundary setting up over the northeast region. So you can see ton of sunshine the rest of today. Couple of afternoon clouds doesn't look like a big deal. Fireworks go off on the Burlington waterfront at 930. We should have a mixture of clouds and some clear skies and that sun sticking with us through most of tomorrow. Could have a couple of more clouds in the afternoon, but otherwise a really nice day for your July 4th. And then here comes that rain for Tuesday morning. Could start off with some wet weather and then it looks like the frontal boundary are kind of set right up over Vermont. So it actually could be a pretty wet day for most of the day on Tuesday. We'll be watching exactly where the heaviest rain sets up. One of our models this particular one showing the heaviest rain over central and southern areas, but other models show it farther to the north. So we'll keep you updated on the placement of this rain, but it doesn't really matter for this weekend because it is dry throughout the entire holiday weekend. This afternoon, pretty much the pick of the weekend, total sunshine, a little bit of a breeze out of the northwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temps in the upper 70s to near 80 in the Champlain Valley, a tad cooler in the mountains, 72 in Saranac Lake and Newport, mid 80s as you head toward parts of the Connecticut. At River Valley. There will be a bit of a northwesterly wind today, gusting 15 to 20 miles per hour, especially later this afternoon. So it'll make it feel a little bit cooler outside of the sunshine, but a great day to get on the lake. A little bit of a breeze on there, 5 to 15 knots, wave heights 1 to 2 feet, and that water temperature coming up finally at 70 degrees. So tonight it is chilly, clear. Temperatures back into the 50s for most of us. 40s though for many locations in the Adirondacks. And then we have a couple more clouds for your July 4th. Still near 80 degrees, wet weather on Tuesday, a bit cooler with mid 70s for highs, and then we warm back up to near 80 degrees for the remainder of the work week with that sunshine back in the forecast. Lauren?